Hey everyone, welcome back to another devlog. Before I show you progress on Bouncy Basketball 2, I want to announce that Gladiators is now available on Pokey.com. I leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's only available for desktop web, so you have to be on a PC or Mac to actually play it. Alright, so I've reworked the customization menu and the way that teams and players are stored in the game. Each team now has three sets of jerseys that can be edited, a home, a road and an alternate version. Each team also has three players that you can edit as well. I've now finally implemented all of the customization in the game, but of course as you can see the menus here are still a work in progress. The menus will be overlaid on top of a 3D background just like in Gladiators, so I'm gonna create a locker room environment for the customization menu first, so I can get a better idea of how the menus will look on top of it. In the end, I decided to make a rectangular room instead of a circular one, simply to save time on modeling and texturing. Here, I'm just trying to make a discrete texture since it's gonna be a background environment and I don't want it to take any attention away from the menus. I will add small objects like water bottles and clothes in the lockers in the future to make things look a little bit more believable. As expected, the menu elements became unreadable on top of this environment, so I'm gonna create some background graphics to make them more visible. I also want to have these arrows to show that it's possible to scroll left and right. And great, I've made a medieval fantasy game UI. I think I've been working for too long on Gladiators because this doesn't look at all like the modern UI I want Bouncy Basketball 2 to have, but my first attempts at UI for a game are usually kinda bad, so I just gotta work on it more for the next weeks and months to come. Anyway, I made it so that you can now see the two other players wearing the road and alternate jerseys. This way you can easily see from the starting menu how the three designs will look together. Now the last thing I want to do is to move the name input field to the left here and create an info box for the team and for the players that will display some useful information. This look is also just temporary, like most of the UI that I'm making right now. I just want to get it implemented so I can start connecting the team and player data to the interface. I rarely manage to plan these things out beforehand, so I tend to do a quick sketch and then I move on to implementing it as soon as possible. At this point I'm pretty much stuck, so I want to get back to working on the gameplay instead. This time around I'm trying to build the game from the ground up and add features in a logical progression. That means that I first need to finish a single player's actions with and without the ball before moving on to implementing teammates and switching between two or three players on your team. Then after that I'm gonna introduce an opponent team and have the players be able to interact with each other through the player actions that I'm creating now. Finally, with all that done, I'm gonna create the rule set for an actual basketball game. There's still a lot of thinking that I have to do about this because I want the game to be as simple as possible to play, yet still somewhat deep and complex mechanically. So for now, I'm just gonna make these two grab animations that will serve multiple functions, extending your grab range, attempting steals and pushing opponents. I don't spend too much time on these animations because I know for a fact that they will have to be tweaked once I start implementing the other actions, but that's for a future devlog. Finally, I just wanted to mention that I was recently in a podcast with mobile game YouTubers Nimble Thor and Tiny Little Games. It was my first podcast that I've ever participated in and I was pretty nervous since I'm not used to talking, but I think it turned out okay. Big thanks to Nimble Thor and Tiny Little Games for having me on. I've left a link in the description if you want to check it out. That's all, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.